In this demonstration we're going to show you how to build a simple math application that consume a REST JSON service and we're going to develop it using the Oracle Enterprise Pack for Eclipse. We have here a simple math application, has one flow and one page in this flow and here's the page and we're going to use a panel splitter to split this page into two areas where we can populate data from a JSON service. So this is our page layout, we can save it at this point of time. If we we'll switch to our browser, you can see our REST um, JSON service. So this service returns a list of employees and we can copy this and uh, use it in our application. And one thing also to show you here is that we also have the option to provide a parameter to this address and then get the details of a specific employee. So now that we have this service running, we're going to switch back into Eclipse. And over here, we're going to create a new REST service description. Okay, we're going to name it HR service, because it deals with human resource information. And we'll take it into the REST client interface, which allows us very easily to invoke various REST resources. So if we'll paste, for example, the employee REST address and run this, the REST client actually invokes it, returns a status. We can see the specific content type that was requested. We can actually see the raw content that was returned over here. Okay, And we can actually see the structure of the message that we got back with the details about each employee, like that. So this is a collection or an array of employees. So now that we have this, we can actually click this button, and these buttons import the REST client information into a REST API. So we're going to click through the wizard, we're going to get the request name to be employees, and click finish and now we're on the second tab here okay and over here now we have our definition of the employees request and we can manually add here or remove here additional requests if we need to but we can also do this directly again from inside the rest client so for example if we need another operation where we provide a parameter we're going to use query brackets to indicate the parameter, which is an ID, and then again going to run this request, uh, the ID 777 in our case, and again we can see the information being passed here. This is a single employee, again the raw content and the information that we invoked. So let's import this definition as well. Okay, this request name is going to be find amp, for example. Click finish. And now in our REST API, we have both of the requests in place. Okay. Requests can be of different types, so right now we're just using requests that are GET, but we can also use other types of requests, of course. Um, another thing that is important to indicate here, we have in the output, we have the actual type of information that is being returned, again, automatically defined for us. So now that we have those two requests in place, we can click this button, and this button actually generates some artifacts for us. So let's click OK here. Okay. And it's going to use Java 1.8 to create a POJO client based on our service. So we're going to create the connection here. So we'll call it the HR server connection. And then we're going to specify, okay, this is the object that we want to create. And again, we can call this one the HR service. And over here, we can add the specific uh, classes we want to add. So again, we'll call this one HR service. And we're going to add the request to get employees. And we're going to also add the find operation or find employee operation over here. Okay. And now when we click finish, 
those are the files that are going to be generated for us and this is again a simple Pojo representation of our HR service and if we actually open the Java class you can see the class information over here. You can actually go and modify the classes needed for example we know that the uh, information or the ID that we're passing to the find employee is of type integer so int. Let's save this information and now we can actually expose this service as a data control that we're going to use in our um, Oracle Math user interface. All right, so here's our data control definition with the two methods in here. So now we can go back into our employees page and this page as we said has two parts to it and on the left part on the navigator we're going to use from our data control palette the HR service the employee method we're going to pick up the return object which is a collection of employees and just drag and drop it directly into this navigator as a list view okay we can define various types of lists and we're just going to show information about the first and last name of the employee directly in here like that so this would be on the left side of our page and this is invoking one REST request. On the other part of the page, on the panel item, we're going to use the other method, the find employee method, which has a parameter ID, and simply drag and drop it into here as a parameter form, which will create an ID field for us. And after the parameter form, we're going to show the return object, which is again an employee. And again, drop it into the panel item section as another form. And this can be a read-only form or an updatable form, depending on how we need it to show up. Okay, so now we have our page designed, and we can go and define a new run configuration for our application. So under the math application, we're going to define a new configuration, we're going to target an iOS simulator, and we're going to use an iPhone 5 for this, apply and run our project. Our emulator starts our application, click OK. And on the left side of the page, we can see the list of employees returned from the JSON information. And on the right side, we can invoke a method passing a parameter. So for example, if we use 777 and click the find employee, we're getting the information about Jeff Smith, which is the same thing here. And of course, we can switch and use another value here to find the details of a separate employee. 